Hi, we're Alan and Kaz, and in between our nine to five, we're travelling Ireland's wild Atlantic way. This week, we tackle Ireland's highest mountain. Need to make sure you've got your three points of contact all time. Whoa, <laughs> three points? Where did you read that? <laughs> I told you we were experienced tigers. <laughs> Let's go. Morning, 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 guys. Welcome to this week's vlog. We are just going to do something quite little today. Today's going to be one of those mad adventures. We are climbing the biggest mountain in Ireland. So guys, yesterday was a bit of a washout in the end. We decided to hunker down in Kilcarney. Yeah. In Kilcarney. At the police station. Uh, yeah, literally outside the Garda station. So the safest park up. And today we've come to a little place called Cronin's Yard, the which is the trailhead or one of the trailheads of the tallest mountain in Ireland, Karen Toolhill. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm totally wrong. If anybody wants to spell it out phonically for me how to say it in English in the comments, that would be great. But Karen Tuhill, we're going to attempt it. We're going to go up the Devil's Ladder and either down O'Shea's Gully or down the zigzags, one or the other. Not decided yet. Up. Make it really, really easy to climb. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's quite the, cool. the cloud is like hanging to the side of the side of the mountain up there. It's like proper Lord of the Rings type stuff, and it's just peeking out. <laughs> wow. Where we're going, Carrow to Hill. I think Devil's Ladder's up this bit here and then goes up. Wow. So we're approaching now Devil's Ladder, and you'll see it just going up there. So it's a bit of a scramble up, but it should be okay. We're just going to come down a different way. I'm having one of those moments. What? Need a poo? Oh, and this is it. Devil's Ladder. Oh, God. Reminds me of that one up Trifon, but smaller. Oh, I didn't like that old Trifon. Why did you just say that? <laughs> Okay, can we go back now? No, onward. You're on a totally different path to me. <laughs> so when you get to the foot of Devil's Ladder, it's a little bit sketchy where the path is, but if you think if you just keep your eye on the Devil's Ladder and, walk and look for the path that goes towards that, then you'll be fine. You can, there is a tendency to get sucked to the left and start to head up the zigzags, but if you keep your eyes on the ladder, it's pretty easy to figure out where you are. Last push to the top. It's not too hard, but it is very technical. You just need to make sure you've got your three points of contact all the time. Whoa, three points? Where did you read that? I told you we were experienced tigers. <laughs> three points of contact? What the hell? I heard somebody say it. <laughs> you have no idea what it means though. Yeah, one, two, three. Wow, look at three you. Three points of contact. So if you're lifting up, you've wow. got three points of yeah, that's good. Come on, I want my fruit fresh. Oh. Oh. I think you're in the saddle. Yes! Yes! Oh. Oh. 
devil's rudder. Done. Yes. A good hike is always made better by a brew and fruit bread. <laughs> yeah. Fruit mm. bread's the key, isn't it? Nice. And now we just have to get up there. That's where we're going. You don't have to follow me. So one option on the way back, if you want to do it, is to go up there, across, and you'll see some zigzags there, and that's the zigzag route. Oh, oh I can spoil the top cars. Yes. That's what? Tony Smartin. Caricatool. In Ireland, smash there. Caricatool, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> In here. Yeah, my hands, I've just been using the drone and it's, my hands are freezing. A nice place to just have a quick brew. So there is actually a horseshoe walk you can do here. And it starts, I don't know if you can see it, it starts down there at the hydro car park and it comes all the way up then, up to the top, and then it comes down over this ridge and back down again. And that actually covers four of the highest peaks in Ireland in one hike. Four of the five highest peaks in Ireland in one hike so it's pretty it's a pretty good horseshoe sketchy that isn't it it's a bit, i always find coming down more technical than going up that's pretty good that's where it came from it's actually not bad to scramble down there's a lot of like step type things not steps but rocks that you can stand on that won't give way oh look at that so the tarn the lough just overflows, just overflows, and then you get this really cool waterfall. It all starts just there. Very good, Kaz. How did you end up over there? I don't know, but I don't like being so far away. Do <laughs> oh, you just want to be close to me? I just feel like I'm safe when I'm behind you. Oh. I'm going to play a trick on Kaz. I'll see you back at the van. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiking again if you disappear. <laughs> I just said I'm just going to play a little trick on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she loves a good laugh, Kaz does. Love a good laugh, don't you? <laughs> Come on, let's crack out, it's gonna rain. Think you can swim in there? I think so, it's nice and clear. It'd be nice in the summer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Be like a greenhouse in this in this it's cove a bit, bit, wouldn't it? In here in the summer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Back on the path. We're on the proper path. This is the one we came in on. Is it now? A couple of miles back down to Jules. Two kilometres. Oh. Nice. And well deserved. What a day. It looked like he was going to chuck it down all day today. It actually turned out one of the nicest days for ages, didn't it? And what an epic hike to the top, mm. to the tallest mountain in Ireland. Next week, we're off to the Dingle Peninsula. But until then, don't forget to hit like leave a comment and click subscribe so that you don't miss all our next videos. See you next week.